a consummate and talented motorcycle drag racing professional with a compelling story to tell. Isn't that an amazingly gorgeous drag bike? That is the one and only Tony Mullen. And if you don't know Tony, stay with us in this video because I am gonna introduce you to him. What a story he has. He was a pro stock motorcycle standout. He was an AMA pro star superstar. And he was one of the most successful 460 racers of all time coming off a three-peat in the Man Cup Series. Now, the reason I'm speaking about him in the past tense as a 460 racer is, get this, he unfortunately sold his bike. We're going to head down to Tony's shop. We're going to find out why. We're also going to ask him what makes him so successful. We're going to find out what is next for Tony Mullen. And we're also going to learn how he was inspired by the one and only late, great Dave Schultz. What's up, Tony? Hi, Jack. Hello, CycleDrag.com. All the uh, subscribers. Um, basically, Jack sent me an email during these strange times. He wanted to do an interview. He asked me a couple of questions, and I'm going to try my best to answer them. So, the first question Jack asked me was to say a little bit about myself and my racing career and achievements. I started racing in 1990 when my twin brother Jimmy, he got into motorcycle drag racing in 1989 and talked me into uh, joining, joining up and giving it a try. So I started in 1990 and I raced until 97 and then I went and raced NHRA Pro Stock from 98, 99, 2000. Then I took a break, and in 2005, I ran Sandra Southeastern Motorcycle Drag Racing Association. And then I took another break, and 2013, I came out and ran Top Gas. And then I took another break, and then 2017, 18, and 19, we campaigned to 460 bikes. During those years, I acquired two national championships in Pro ET, three national championships in Super Gas, four national championships in Top Gas, and three national championships in 460. I campaigned a bike and teamed up with Antron Brown and Troy Vincent of Team 23 where I acquired number six plate, number five plate, and number three plate to end my pro stock racing career. So the second question for you that Jack asked me is, what is the key to winning? Oh gosh, um, we've won a lot as a team. Uh, I have probably over 60 national wins and probably half is that many runner-ups. Uh, it's been a great, been a great career racing motorcycles. Where do I, where do I start with what my key to winning is? Um, I can tell you exactly, exactly when, and this dates back to 1990. When I raced my first year in 1990, me and my brother Jimmy, we ran the IDBA circuit, the whole circuit. I was campaigning a super gas bike and Jimmy was campaigning a pro gas bike. Pro gas used to be 920 back then and super gas is still 990. So I never won around. Never won around the whole year. We went to every single race and I never won around. I used to get my fuel from this gentleman down at Fort Myers. And I knew who he was just from starting out racing. His name was David Schultz. Never did I know at that point what Dave Schultz actually was and what he meant to this sport. 
when I used to go down there and get fuel, I would get go down to his auto shop and pick up my Sunoco Root race fuel at the time. And I you know, did that a few times because we did a lot of testing and a lot of local racing as well. And uh, towards the end of 1990 season, I got to be pretty good friends with Dave. And I finally went up one day, went down to Fort Myers to pick up my fuel. And, you know, Dave was doing great in racing. And of course, everybody back then was following Schultz Racing and Star Racing and so on and so forth. And I asked Dave, I said, how do you win so much? I mean, I've been campaigning a motorcycle almost a whole season, going to every race, trying to do everything right, and I just couldn't get around, around win. So Dave smiled at me, and I remember this like it was yesterday. And he said, Tony, you are a champion. You just don't know it yet. And I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, I can see it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a champion. And I said, so if you were to give me one piece of advice about how to win and how to be a champion, what would it be, Dave? And he said, simple. And he walked over to his bench, and I still have it to this day. He held up this one dollar bill and he said Tony what do you see here <laughs> I'm looking at him I'm like this guy is kind of crazy but I respect him so much that it's got to mean something and I said well I see a dollar and he said is that all you see and I said well I guess it could get you a cup of coffee or maybe a candy bar but I see a dollar and he said that's not right. And I said, well, what do you see, Dave? And Dave walked back up to his bench and grabbed a bowl similar to this bowl. And he says, most people see a dollar. I see a hundred pennies. I'm like, okay, well, that makes sense. There's a hundred pennies and a dollar. And he said, Tony he said, once you learn that there's a hundred pennies and a dollar, you will start winning. And he said, just think about that. And I grabbed my fuel, said goodbye, and I went away. Well, we finished out the season where, I don't know, I don't even think I got in the top 10 in points. And, uh, I kept thinking about that, 100 pennies and a dollar. And I broke it down. And what I did was I, I thought, maybe he's talking about the motorcycle. And maybe he's talking about the parts on a motorcycle. You know, some people see a drag bike. Well, maybe Dave sees it's not just a drag bike. There's so many pieces and aspects of that drag bike. And maybe that's what he's talking about. So I took his philosophy during the off season of 1990 and applied it to my program. And I looked at everything on my motorcycle. I looked at the rear wheel, the sprocket, the chain, the clutch, everything, the two-step, everything. And then I finally figured it out. And we focused on every single piece of that motorcycle and every single piece of me as a racer and a rider. And we broke it down into many pieces. And I figured it out. Anyways, long story short, we went out and we started running Pro Star Circuit, AMA Pro Star with Scooter Kaiser and uh, we ran 1991, we ran that circuit in Supergas and Jimmy ran in Supercom. I won the championship and back then ProStar had this wonderful banquet 
everybody got dressed up. It was great. I mean, we would get the trophies, our championship trophies, and it was just a great time. And the person presenting the trophy to me was none other than David Schultz. And I still have the picture of him shaking my hand and presenting me with my trophy and uh, a nice check. And he said, congratulations. There's a hundred pennies and a dollar. And from that point on, I've been really close with Dave. He, uh, throughout the years, we always joke to each other about the hundred pennies and a dollar. Seems so simple, but that's how we apply our race, racing uh, theory. The next question Jack asked me is, what is 460 racing and why is it so appealing to me? Well, obviously 460 racing is eighth mile racing, 4.6 seconds, and why it's so appeal appealing to me is because it's fast. It's extremely fast, and not only is it placing, you know, racing is it placing man against man, but it's placing man and machine against man and machine. So you really have to have your machine exactly how you want it. And it's, there's basically no room for error. Uh, going that fast and accelerating that fast and then worrying about where your opponent is and carrying the front tire and handling the motorcycle and putting a wheel on somebody, I just find extremely exciting. So, the final question from Jack is, and that's an obviously everybody wants to know, why did I get out of racing? Well, we did what we wanted to do in 460. We applied our theory to the motorcycle, to ourselves, and we won a championship. We applied it again, we won our second, and we applied it a third time, and we won our third championship. I would love to race different sanctioned bodies, but obviously they're a long distance away, and it would just be it would, too much travel and I just don't have the time for that at this point in my life. So what do we do next? Well, right now we're make, taking a little reset and we're going to take a little break and reevaluate. I sold everything. I sold my motorcycle, my trailer, and a lot of my parts that were involved in the 460 bike. Where are we going from here? Who knows? but we will be back. Matter of fact, I really think Pro Fuel Harley is uh, quite an interesting class, so you never know. Well, that about does it, Jack. I hope I answered some of your questions, and thank you, CycleDrag.com, for all you do for the sport, and everybody be safe and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we provided you with a little bit of entertainment. That's always what we aim to do. We love motorcycles. You love motorcycles. Let's keep this thing growing. Check it out, guys. Up here on the wall, 100,000 subscribers. I love it. Thank you so much. It's all because of you. We appreciate it. Please come with any story ideas. We love the comments and the feedback. I read every single one of them. The positivity is always appreciated. And you haters out there, I love you too because you keep me on my toes. Thank you for watching no matter what. Guys, to keep this thing growing, please subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Hit the bell for notifications. Share with some friends who like drag racing, like motorcycles. This is how we can keep this thing going. And also like cycledrag.com on Facebook and we'll keep rolling. We'll keep finding those stories. We'll keep finding those impressive high performance motorcycles that you want to see. Thank you guys so much. Truly appreciate it. You know, if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, we are in. Cycle Drag rolls on.
We want to thank Tony Mullen, and I hope you enjoyed this inside access into Tony's shop, his life, his career. Tony, we can't wait to see you back out there. If you like stories like this, make sure you're subscribed to Cycle Drag on YouTube, like CycleDrag.com on Facebook. If there's a good story to tell, we're in. Cycle Drag rolls on.